so we know if we have a amount of of material. Say we have a I don't know got a car. It's a pretty good looking car, and <clears throat> you know we we wanted to know how much it weighed. Well, if it was all made from the same material, or if we were just looking at a certain portion of it, we could multiply the the volume by the the density to give us mass. Um, I mean, essentially, what I'm trying to say here is I think that we have we probably have an intuitive sense for what density is. Density is what gives us how much uh, something weighs, a certain volu uh, volume of material weighs, and that's because density is um, mass per unit volume. Okay, so I mean, never lose sight of that, even when we get into densities of ceramics. Um, so of course, density has units of, of mass units, kilograms per uh, volume units, meters cubed. Okay. Um, Commonly, um, as well, you'll find uh, density expressed in, in grams per uh, cubic centimeter, okay, where water, for example, has a density of, <clears throat> of one gram per, um, per cubic centimeter, right, it's, or, or one gram per cubic centimeter, or uh, gram per cc, sometimes it's written. So you have a sense for uh, for for what, what density is all about, and then if we wanted to actually you know, calculate, say, a little piece of that car, that my beautiful car there. So you had a little a chunk of it, you know, and, and you cut that out. And you want to calculate the density of the the steel, perhaps, that's making that car. You could. Um, well, what that would be describing, mean, it would be describing in that quantity of material that you have, what the mass is, and of course you'd have to obtain the volume, and perhaps by, by me chopping this up um, in this this way in my picture, you could imagine, well, could I could I go even smaller? You know, I didn't take the whole car; I just took a piece. Could I could I go smaller yet? <clears throat> and in fact, how small could I go? Uh, with my chunking of the of the material, before I could no longer you know no longer represent the or calculate the volume, <clears throat> a short correction the um, the density. So the smallest you know if we come up with some smallest volume um, <clears throat> volume that's convenient, we could say in that. If we again, if we assume that you have some knowledge of, of the fact that materials are made from atoms, you could, you could say, well, you know, how many atoms are in there? And of course, you know the atomic weight, or um, it's often called the molar mass. The molar mass is the mass of a mole of, of atoms, molar mass. Okay, and then you know you'd have for that particular volume, um, you, know, you got some dimensions here. <clears throat> you could just um, you could you could work out the uh, the density quite easily, and it turns out that and I've, I've chosen this this cube on purpose because it actually turns out that um, you know some materials have an arrangement of atoms that lends itself well to being broken down into a simple shape like a simple geometric uh, solid shape like a like a cube um, <clears throat> now not not all materials uh, are gonna uh, can, can we proceed that way but you know, metals yeah we can we can come up with a particular arrangement of atoms uh, ceramics as well often we can uh, polymers polymers sometimes actually we can we can define a little little chunk that represents the total. Uh, not always though. You know, with metals and ceramics, we've got uh, individual atoms in in particular positions. Whereas in polymers, we we look at a, a string of atoms. We, we have these things called molecules. We'll explore this later. 
and you can represent them roughly as as you know these little squiggly lines. You can almost imagine they're spaghetti. And if they had a a, a special arrangement, of, they were packed in a nice fashion. Um, we could we could again uh, calculate the uh, number of atoms in there uh, divided by the volume. Um, there'll be cases where it can't we can't proceed this way, but <clears throat> in a lot of cases, particularly with metals and ceramics, we're going to actually have a nice little solution like this.